Hey, hey, so we have finally made it to the final video, the winner's circle. There are six people, six simmers in the winner's circle, and the first four will kind of look into their builds a little bit more um, and just make some final comments about them in no particular order. The last two are my favorites, and I had to choose a winner, and it was really hard, but I do have some really exciting news. Just since this is my first shell challenge, of course, the overall winner will be gifted the Home Chef Hustle Pack, but for the other five of you, I would like to give you a kit. Yeah, so any kit of your choosing. Um, honestly, it'd probably be easier for you, me to just Venmo or Cash App, uh, you the $5, but um, I wanted to give you something, you know, for doing something awesome. I know that a lot of time and effort went into all of your builds, and they. this has been really hard, just even narrowing it down to six, much less one. Good lord. Um, which, speaking of, I do want to do some honorable mentions. These people didn't quite make it into this video with the, the winner circle. However, they all did really well with their builds as well. So, on that note, I have Jelena T99, Mad Danielle 98, Brandy the Red, Arky Nix, Jamie 63, KA Sims AA, Cost Sims Off. I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. Powell. 1070 Kathy IIBFF. So I'm assuming Kathy to BFF. Uh, Simply Serta Mel Melgen Dorfer and TLR DWN, which I was assuming, like I said, Taylor Dawn. So I'm going to put a list of those up here as well so that you guys can go check out their galleries. They're all very talented builders. But let's go ahead and get in to our top six. Just kidding. Always got a self promo. Um, if you guys have liked this, I've had a lot of fun judging all of these, even though it, was, it took me 12 hours yesterday to film everybody's or to, to film all the tours and then get the very first video out. So that was a 12 hour journey. But I would really appreciate it if you guys would all subscribe because, you know, I'm really trying to grow this channel. And also, if you're part of this top six, um, make sure to comment and let me know, like, the best way to get in touch with you and we can we can figure this out so now let's get into it the very first person i want to talk about in the winter circuit circle is mego sims m-e-g-g-o-s-i-m-s -G -G -O -S -S. um the one that really put this build like set it apart for me is that you were the only one who did this whole like wine thing which i thought was very cool um it was really unique and with again the terrain paint under it you just did a great job with this. And also a part of your build that I really, really, really enjoyed was how you made this add-on to the addition. But again, it's not a wall. You used a debug item and went inside of it and um, hollowed it out and put stuff in there. That is well within the rules because you're not actually placing a physical wall. If that doesn't make sense to anybody, I'm sorry, but it makes sense in my head. And that's what I'm, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, like we're going to get in here real quick and I'm not going to like, we've already kind of done this, so I'm not going to like, you know, spend a bunch of time, but I did just want to give you guys all the credit and talk a little bit more about your builds. Um, so it's not going to be like 10 minutes of build like it kind of was in the past three videos because God, those were long. <laughs> I know you guys are probably tired of me and just want to know the winner, but yeah, so I thought that was really creative and I have always like wanted to do that, but I've never pulled the trigger and did it. So hats off to you kudos to you um and uh, i love the pumpkin patch it was really i like how it's actually really symmetrical and the pickup truck like you really just like it it looks really great and i loved another thing i really loved about your build was like the worn um rustic look inside i can tell that you use a lot of horse ranch and uh the spandrels again on the inside is just like it has my heart it's amazing so, um, and then, you know, changing the paint up here to that green, the stained glass bees, um, I thought looked fantastic. So, um, you know, hats off to you, Mego, you did amazing. The next person I want to talk about is Teddy KK. Um, you really snapped at this landscaping, dude. Like, it looks really good, and I adore it. I think that you did a fantastic job. I can only imagine what it would look like with my reshade on. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's great. Um, I just don't tour or like build with my reshade on because I don't want my game to crash. I do have a laptop, not a PC. So, uh, <laughs> bear with me on that. 
but yeah, no, I love um, that you use these under here. Um, these, uh, I can't even think of words anymore. Just decor ceiling decorations. And I love the color scheme that you use on the exterior of your house, as well as like the ivy creeping up and all of that. And I like that you put the, the hay bales around the fire pit. I thought that was so cool and like creative. Like I really liked that a good bit. And then what else? I know that these were like hand placed and that takes a long time. So hats off to you, the planners behind the, uh, the couch. I mean, just really fantastic fantastic stuff uh, um let's see as far as interior okay crap let me get i swear i'm technologic technologically um <clears throat> inhibited a little bit i'm just really not that good but like oh my god the amount of clutter that you use in the kitchen obsessed with like i love clutter and you really killed it in this kitchen um, as well as over here. I mean, good God. I'm like rethinking my decision for the winter. No, I'm just kidding. The winners did great, but like you really did excellent as well. And you deserve your kit a million percent. So thank you so much, Teddy KK. I could actually see myself playing in this house. I really love it. The next one I want to look at and talk about is our next finalist is Dylan Sims. Um, yeah, you did really well with this. I like that you rotated it. <clears throat> That was a really good idea and then we have the apple 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 trees back here were they apple yeah <laughs> apple trees back here and you're on like pumpkin patch and i thought that was really cool um the landscaping is also very minimal but like i really liked it and i liked how you um i really like how you had the ivy on the walls and this fun i guess still gotta find that because that's amazing artisanal lattice okay heard I won't remember that in five minutes, but you know, oh, oh. And the, the thing that really like puts you in the finals was the creativity with you, with having the tombstone, <laughs> the grave. And if you go down, um, if you guys remember, if you go down to the basement, there's a, uh, coffin. So aged wooden coffin. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. And that's, um, some of the reason why you became a finalist, but otherwise I just really liked the inside too. Again, the spandrels, it just looks very well done and very well put together. So, you know, kudos to you. Um, absolutely fantastic build. And oh, oh, the laundry unit behind the curtain was a new one that I hadn't uh, thought of or seen before. So I thought that was really neat. Again, it just looks very cozy and very like cluttered and all that good stuff. So good job, Dylan. You uh, really did a wonderful job. So the last one I want to look at before we get to our top two is from Absurd Koala 2. And what gives me a lot of respect for this too is that this person actually reached out to me and let me know that they play on console. So that's awesome. Like to be able to still like do all this really nice landscaping without using mods because I probably could not live without tool and better build by. I think it's really impressive. So I'm a big fan. So let's check out what we've got here. I love the Cordells up here. Corbells, whatever you call them. I think I messed that up and I never figured it out in the original video. So, oops. And then you come in back here and you have these beautiful trees, beautiful fall foliage. Um, and you still have, like, I love putting, like I've said, I love putting stuff, rocks, uh, bushes, terrain paint around trees to make it look more realistic. And like you nailed it with that absurd koala <laughs> and then um one thing that really i really loved about your build um as well was um let's see the i think i liked your interior like was the preference for me because like you come in and you have this beautiful cluttered living room i mean good god it looks so good I, again i still am laughing about the fact that so many people use the acorn mushroom rabbit wallpaper i love it i think it's hilarious but i mean you did so much work through here and i think that that's very commendable and i'm really a big fan of it i love the small touches again like having the dog bowl half eaten um so like that was a lot of fun and like you have all this clutter over here like i am a huge clutter clutter person for sure like look at this little nook over here like it's so freaking cute I can't even get over that like adorable 
And, you know, stacking the hay over here, like, next to Patchy, little stuff like that is just stuff that I would have, like, never thought of. And I think that it's so creative. And all the greenery upstairs in the bedroom, and you still have all of this clutter up here. Like, I love it. Obsessed clutter. Like, it, it too, there's no such thing as too much whenever it comes to clutter for me. So, Absurd Koala, thank you very much for your entry. I as was very pleased to just look at it. So, thank you. All right, so we have finally arrived at the top two. And I mean, you guys both absolutely knocked it out of the park. I can't, it was so hard for me to pick one. I even asked my parents' opinion because I was like, help, send help. But even they agreed, we all agreed on number one. So we're going to start with the runner up and then we're going to get to the winner. Okay, so for our runner up, second place, which just was such a hard decision, we have Mabe underscore Texas girl. Or, yeah, I'll I'll link her name so that you can find her on the gallery gallery because she's clearly a very talented builder. Um, I love everything about this lot. Like like I said, I didn't put a lot size on it. So the fact that you like went on your own and like did all these like little like almost like areas um in your build, I thought were really great. Like you start off over here with a bicycle under the tree. I mean, a bike just makes everybody feel at home. And you have hand placed. I'm sure I probably said this in the original tour, but you hand place all of these papers and like I know how much time that took you like trust me I do the same insane things in my builds or I try to unless I get lazy <laughs> and give up and then you have this beautiful apple or these apples and pear trees um with your beautiful pathway and I love it like the small details that you thought of like for example like if I move this well you have um that circle with the leaves around it like that was just really creative also, I'm just now finding out hotkeys. <laughs> yeah, I've just been clicking everything the whole time. It's it's okay. Clock me out, send me home. Clearly, I'm a rookie. But I thought this would just be fun. Like, And then you have this beautiful like pond area over here, like a moat around your chest table with even just like this little lantern. Like, it, It's just really thoughtful. And then you come over here and you have your pumpkin patch. And I love that you like put this banner here. Like, I think that that was a really cool touch for me. The banner is amazing and i don't know who what sim died in the process of making your build or if you meant to do this is it supposed to be in the tree oh i'm not seeing it from this angle but we do have a tombstone floating over here um but yeah so i can just tell that you really worked hard on this and okay cool um i love like i said all the different little areas you have a fire pit out here with hay bells which we can all tell i'm a sucker for you have this cute little movie area and like, I don't have movie hangout, but I feel like there's probably a, some huge projector out here that you could have used, but you know, I don't have that pack. So you got super creative instead with the awnings and, um, and you did very well, like layering all of these and making them all. It's very homey. Like I would want to hang out here and I'm not like really an outdoorsy person. <laughs> Oops. That's why I'm so pale. But and then you have the room for the cow slash llama and the chicken with their own little, like, just very, like, little stuff. That, oh, I didn't even notice the little chicks before. <laughs> That's cute. Um, Like, little stuff that you put in, like, this little water feature. Like, it's awesome. And then you come over here. You have a telescope on this side. Um, You did not just a green. It's not a greenhouse. It's like a utility shed. Um, But, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Um. Yeah, it's like a utility shed, and I love that you made, like, a second story to it. Again, just, like, using your creativity, I thought it was really cool. And then, this is probably one of my favorite parts. You just made, like, this random shrine, and maybe it's not random. Maybe it means something to you, and I'm sorry if I'm being offensive. <laughs> but, like, I love it. Like, it was such a cute, like, random idea. You even put this, like, glow aura. Oh, it's from Debug. Nice. Okay, you even put that, like, glow aura thing in there, and really made it kind of tie in. I'm sure it looks awesome at night. And I know you had to use probably tool to, or maybe just, but I know that you had to connect these because if you pull them apart, that was, you know, like a really nice touch as well. So looking at the inside of your build, um, let's see. I think I, I think yours was the one that I really love the interior. I do. Yeah. 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 Like if you come inside, you have this beautiful, like, pergola looking thing that you've created over here and if you go like you can tell that they're all hand placed I know that that took time you have this beautiful kitchen and um 
fireplace living area. And, I mean, you really just killed it. Like, this is such a creative build. And I love it. And I'm stealing all of your ideas. No, I'm just kidding. Um, did you put something? I noticed that there was, like, something in the basement. But I'm, I don't know if I'm seeing it, like, in the... What is that? Steen and... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I am I missing something? No. Okay, maybe that was just I don't know. If I'm missing that, I'm sorry. Please let me know in the comments. Um so I can you know, go into it, but like dude, it looks really great. Uh Mabe, like you did a fantastic job and this was like I said a really hard decision for me. But oh, and also like if we go upstairs, I love how homey you made like the um the bed like the whole like putting the tray on the bed was really nice the bedroom is really nice and oh also yeah i love how you um put the curtains that was a that was a nice touch i hadn't seen before and you also i'm just gonna like move these out the way for a sec so everybody can see um how cool this was like putting the immaculate i'm sure it's the immaculate it's always the immaculate we know um how the shelf and then you put a shower on top of a tub so you get that like nice two-in-one combo i thought that that was really uh creative as well so hats off to you mabe i think that you did fantastic and i absolutely enjoyed this was very pleasing to my eyeballs so thank you for that and we have the winner so this is a beautiful cozy autonomous build from Naomi AE26. And good God, can you say landscaping? I mean, like, let's just talk about it. We gotta talk about it. I mean, first of all, there's so much in this pickup truck. Um, you took these rocks and which which rock even is it? Rock of Wonder, hand placed this whole like front gardening area or like landscaping area you did it all throughout the build and i know how much time and effort that took you placing down all of this landscaping i mean it's absolutely gorgeous like the hay under the truck with like the little dr driveway looking um details i mean fantastic like absolutely killed it with the landscaping we come back here and you have um the rooster <laughs> i love it and over here we have just a back like garden area coming up um to the addition that i threw in the build and then on if you come over to this side first of all also just starting at the very front uh i love is that a debug no it's not a debug fence but i love that you put this from debug and you tool modded or whatever you did with this guy and i like that it's open you know like something i wouldn't have thought of like that's really neat and then we come over here absolutely beautiful uh bridge area over a pond um again with the the small rocks that you i, I mean you guys can see that these are all hand placed like <laughs> that takes a lot of patience and also this is not a fence from the game obviously we don't have curved fences and well we do but not like this um these were all again like debug stone walls that sh uh were that were sized down and hand placed with the rocks around them where you come over this bridge and you come into you see the the water wheel um over this this pond with all that landscaping back there and then going more into the backyard um area we have patchy of course we have patchy <laughs> he's in all like all of the builds he's just hanging out somewhere and oh my god i hate when the camera like jumps i can't i'm sorry um but yeah you yeah this just freaking great it really is like and then you come over here and again this is like what mego did earlier this is not an exterior wall it's not it's a it's a it's a it's a shed it's from debug it's from the horse ranch pack i think um but if you go under it you utilize that space to make it like a little sitting area with a fireplace absolutely gorgeous like i said i would hang out here as well even though i'm not a very out outdoorsy gal and then on the other side of that we have this pumpkin patch with again another like debug item that you have hollowed out not hollowed out but you know what i'm you know what i'm trying to say like um 
made functional, you know, by, okay, my camera's just going to take forever to get there. Go, okay, go, sorry. Um, and you have the flower arranging table in here as well as, um, another table. And I just thought that that was really cool. So you added, you made an addition to the addition, but still within the rules is what you did. So if we come into the actual edition, I love that you used an archway over it. It's fabulous and beautiful. And you have some some feed, a little like horse ranch style storage area with some garden pots because you know you gotta shelter the the, the money making ones <laughs> in the winter. The roses or chrysanthemums or whichever ones are worth a lot of money. And you have a nectar making station. So we can drink some wine. <clears throat> I mean nectar because, you know, we're we're ready to eat for everyone. <laughs> um, and then over here you have this beautiful back porch area. Very, very, very fall vibes like I had asked for um, with the the creeping ivory, uh, ivy and everything again in your build. And then we're going to just quickly take a look inside. I've just, I've spent so much time on like talking about this build because... It's just that good. Like, you did absolutely fantastic. And that's why you are the winner of the Home Chef Hustle <laughs> Home Chef Hustle Pack. I mean, you come in and you just have a super warm entryway with, you know, the flowers and the pumpkins. And again, you place these and you have a hutch right here, almost like a mud room for your entryway. And then you come in here and you have this cute little, like, kid, uh, what, I, what I'm going to call a kid's bedroom, but it could also be a guest bedroom. Um, I didn't think anybody was going to make this, like, two bedrooms, and you did. And then you have this super cozy kitchen, um, as well as this very cozy living space and the bathroom. I mean, I just can't. I can't. But you really, I love, as much as I love the interior, you snapped with the landscaping. Like, you delivered with that. So yeah, you made a two bed, two bath, and they're both like, and they're full bath. So that was really impressive with what you were given. You come upstairs and you come in this entryway. And I love that you kind of like, that you made this little nook over here. Like that was a really creative use of that couch. One of the corner couches. I probably wouldn't have thought of. And you have a little office area up here. And then you have your bedroom, which is fairly standard, but, you know, it's small. It was a small build, so I get it. And then uh, another part that I'm absolutely crazy about is the uh, little outdoor area offset of the bedroom that you did. Because um, I can, you know, you come out here, and just the small details again. You have a rocking chair with the barrels with plants on them, which is something that I also really love doing. And then you have this table with your books, your wine. And just a wine glass, like little stuff like that just really sets your build apart that you, you know, I can tell you worked really hard on it. So thank you very, very much for your entry and congratulations. And that will do it for this uh, shell challenge series. We have our winner, Naomi, absolutely killed it. Like that was just fantastic. It was a really, really well done. But everybody did a really good job. Like there wasn't a single build that I looked at and was like, ew, that sucks. Um, everybody did a really great job. So again, to the winners, uh, the winner circle, the six of you, we've been over this. Just go ahead and reach out to me via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube comment. I think YouTube comment would be the best way. And let me know how to get in touch with you guys. And this has been a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody again who participated. Naomi, absolutely fantastic. Mabe, fantastic. You guys really killed it. And thanks for, thanks for playing. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of your evening and remember to be curious and not judgmental. Bye.